All right, boys, so let's talk about why I don't believe Justin Fields should have been benched for Russell Wilson going into week seven. It's not exactly the fact that the Steelers are four and two, because if you can improve your football team, you should do that 10 times out of 10. I'm just not certain if Russ improves the Steelers, because yes, he is a better pocket quarterback, but the question is by how much. Russ's health, his physicality. Fields has scored several touchdowns with his legs in plays that he should not have scored maybe there's two or three quarterbacks in football that are able to do that like a josh allen for example or a lamar jackson you know, justin fields maybe anthony richardson right if he's healthy so russ i'm just questioning who he is to this point because he was let go by the seahawks and then he was let go by the broncos the broncos were willing to take on the most dead cap space in nfl history to let him go russ holds on to the football he takes sacks he's short he can't throw over the middle of the field if the Steelers had a better offensive line, a consistent run game, and more weapons, then they, without question, be 6-0. and But they don't, and that's kind of their thing. The defense, it's not always going to be able to hold up. There's going to be games where the Steelers need to score over 20 points. So I guess they're thinking, oh, well, we have more of a chance to do that with Russ. And I think in like a perfect world here, Russ, he gets better protection. He's able to hit the balls that Fields isn't, and the run game gets a little bit better. But I just don't know how much that's going to happen, right? The Steelers are all of a sudden just magically going to be able to run the ball consistently every game because they had their best one in week six. And then also the fact that, oh, well, Russ, is he going to be able to find these guys? Because, again, he took the most sacks last season he's taken a lot of sacks i mean russ is on pace right now to have the most sacks in the history of football ever so i just don't really know exactly why the steelers believe that russ is going to be better than fields because i think if anything i would put the blame on the offensive line the lack of talent at receiver yeah calvin austin's good man he's he's very shifty he's got a lot of speed but as a number two we're no, we're talking about winning a Super Bowl here. A number two receiver, Calvin Austin. George Pickens had, what, three drops in the last game? He's been very quiet this season. So it, I just, I, I don't know, man. Najee Harris looked explosive against the Raiders, but that was the one game this season he looked explosive. And I feel like I mean, a lot of us watching this could look explosive against the Raiders' run defense. It's that terrible. So, and Arthur Smith has not impressed me. This, the passing attack hasn't been that creative. I remember there was one drive the last, last preseason game where it's like, okay, they go down, they throw the ball, they, they score a touchdown, and Tomlin takes him out. But I just this, this is going to be a very, very difficult game for Ross coming back against an elite Jets defense. I mean, the Jets... They can't afford to lose any more games, so they're going to be ready to go. Even though this is in Pittsburgh, they're going to be ready to go. And if Russ can't hold up physically, he's going to be in some serious trouble because Fields' ability to use his legs has been huge for this offense. It's the only reason that they've, they've been able to put up 20 points, you know, 13 against the Broncos, 18. And then uh, certainly those two rushing touchdowns got them 14 points against the, the Raiders. I just think the Steelers are in for a rude awakening because they're basically saying that I don't think Justin Fields can get to that next level. So let's go to Russ in hopes that he does. But I think Fields, you get him another weapon. Brandon Ayuk, for example, remember the Steelers were in on him. Uh, the Steelers did not acquire Devontae Adams. He went to the Jets this morning. Uh, maybe there's some other targets available, but I just I don't like the weapons for the Steelers. And I feel very confident that if Fields is protected and has guys that can get open, he's going to be able to get them the football. It's frustrating, too, because, again, you're 4-2. You could easily be 6-0. and The Cowboys game, you got a fourth down. You get a stop, you win that. The Colts game, you, you have a chance to go down the field to kick a field goal or to go for the win. And so, you know, a receiver doesn't get out of bounds. Justin Fields ends up fumbling the football because he was trying to get an extra peak down the field, and he moved his leg, and then the ball is snapped, and all of a sudden that's a huge loss. So it's just... Plays like that, you make them, you win those games. The Steelers didn't. And I get that, okay, pass, passing yards rate, field 145, 131. You look at 117 against Denver, 156 against Atlanta. Not exactly great. His completion percentage the past couple of games hasn't been great. But I'm just wondering how much of that is on the system, the lack of talent, the issues for the Steelers. Because the ones from last season haven't just all gone away. You bring in Russ and you're just you're expecting... Uh, him to be a better passer which I think is completely fair I do think Russ is going to be more accurate because he's played a lot more football and Justin Fields is we, we kind of know who Justin Fields is I do think he can get a lot better if there's more talent around him we know that Fields is never going to be the best passer but Russ has shown that he can complete him at a high level I mean the dudes won a Super Bowl right whether or not you think it's because of the defense but still like you know Russ has had big moments clutch drives crazy finishes I mean Russ is a borderline Hall of Fame type of player but just who he is right now, Russ is not the guy he was in Seattle. 
the Denver Russ, he might not even be that version. I just Russ has gotten worse by the years. And just watching him in Denver, there was a, a lot of stuff I didn't like. The sacks holding on to the football. You know, Bo Nix, the reason why the Broncos went and brought him in was because he got rid of the football quickly at an insane rate. And that's something that Russ just was not capable of. And Fields, I haven't thought that he's looked the best as a passer. I mean, the statistics show it. Accuracy, yardage. Uh, I think more of it so is just no receivers, right? Outside of George Pickens, there's just not a lot of work with. You know, the tight ends, yeah, maybe they were open and Fields had some misses. I mean, that's what the tape shows. Um, that's what everyone's saying. But I just think overall the Steelers have a bigger concern right now than the quarterback. I mean, it's not like they're going to go to Russ and everything's just going to change overnight. So definitely uh, sucks if you're Justin Fields. You've gotten your team to 4-2. and two. You finally have a good culture, a good team around you, good weapons, a defense, somebody who trusts in you, or at least you thought so. And then here goes Russ. I mean, Russell Wilson, the guy that was picked up on – you know, vets minimum contract. I don't know if they that's a term in the NFL like it is in the NBA, but like a vets minimum contract for Russ. And in the preseason, he did not play you, but he was just given that spot. Um, this sucks, man. It really sucks. Um, but we'll see what happens. Definitely keep you guys updated. We'll be following it. Jets, Giants, Washington coming up for the Steelers. Tough schedule, man. The Jets is never going to be easy. We just saw the Bills, of course, uh, get out of there with a three-point win. The Giants have actually been very competitive this season. That's going to be a close game. And then at Washington, that's going to be a very difficult game. Baltimore, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Cleveland, four straight divisional games. Eagles, Ravens, Chiefs, Bengals. So, yeah, the Steelers are making a massive bet here. I would not be surprised at all if Fields ends up getting another chance. I, I truly wouldn't. But Mike Tomlin, he just likes the veteran presence of, of Russ, and he's trying to get this passing game going. In his defense, Tomlin, the Steelers, they ran all over the Raiders. They went you know, 35 for 183, but the passing attack, 14 to 24 for Fields, 145. I mean, one of those was a throwaway coming off a sack, of course. He was rolling out to his left member. He just flicked it. Um, there was like three drops by Pickens and then just some misses. So there was a little bit of stuff that wasn't Fields' fault, a little bit that was his fault. But time will tell, man. There is obviously a world where Russ comes in and the passing attack gets significantly better and the Steelers start to consistently run the football. And that would obviously make them a better football team. But I think there is a world where the offensive line still sucks. They still can't run the ball consistently. Russ has no more physicality, no more mobility as he's 35 now. I mean, his days are gone. I mean, he's top five ever in terms of quarterback rushing yardage. But that Russ is gone. So is he going to be able to hold up here? Because, yeah, Fields, he's starting to take more sacks is what the haters are saying. The doubters, he took three of them. But is Russ going to take four? Is Russ going to take five? Because Fields, yeah, he hasn't really been getting the ball out as quickly as I'd like. He hasn't been getting exactly on time. But again, you have to scheme open receivers, you have to catch the football, and you have to block. And that just has not been on Fields' side so far. But I need to see what he can do in a more consistent, like, elaborate scheme. I don't think Arthur Smith is the best. I really don't. We saw Greg Roman for the Chargers call up a great passing game against the Broncos, who were the number two ranked defense coming into the week. But in terms of Arthur Smith, I mean, it's the Raiders. You, know, you can't scheme up something against the Raiders. Who the hell are you going to be able to scheme up something against? So I think this is going to backfire. And I'm not saying I hope it does because I do like the Steelers and I'm still rooting for them to win every week. But I mean, this is just, it's ridiculous to me. It's very ridiculous. And Steelers fans, you guys remember me saying this too, because I watched Russ towards the end of Seattle. I watched him in Denver every single game. I mean, it's just, he just hasn't impressed me. He really hasn't.